thank you for, for joining me today. In today's video I'm going to be sketching very quickly some swallows. It's a lovely time of year. The swallows arrived back here a few weeks ago now and it's great to see them all darting around the yard. So I thought it'd be a good time to have a go at doing these. And I really wanted to talk to you about just getting some movement into your drawings um, by sketching very, very loosely and not putting too much detail in. When a little swallow is flying past at such speed, you're not going to see every detail, you're not going to see every feather, you're not going to see the eye or the beak. So it's just really concentrating on getting some quick shapes down on the paper. And I use calligraphy ink for this. So this is a Dale Rowney calligraphy ink. You'll notice in some of my other videos, I also use acrylic inks. But I do find that this one flows off my dip pen a lot more easily than the acrylic ones. Um, and it's a light fast one and a permanent one. So it's a good one for drawing with. So just keep everything loose, keep your hand loose. You'll see how loosely I'm holding the pen. Don't be tight with your drawing, don't draw from your wrist, don't have your wrist and everything tight, draw from your shoulder, your elbow, keep your arm moving very loosely. Um, and don't worry about lines that are wrong, just ignore the lines that are wrong and carry on with the lines that have worked. So if you find something that's worked really well and you like it, you can emphasise it. Something that hasn't worked well, just ignore it and you're just practicing and maybe you might develop these sketches later on into a painting or something but if you just fill a page of your sketchbook up with some little birds out of your garden as they're going past really really quickly and you have to get used to working quickly so you, it's just the same as if you're doing people in a street or a cafe or whatever just get the basic shapes down so with the swallows really the basic shapes it's getting that tail in because that's the thing that makes them a swallow and that we can pick them out from a other bird that very distinctive shape of the tail and you've got quite a long um, body to them as well and that helps with the movement so to make it look as if it's moving keeping less detail there and working very quickly is gonna he all help with that keep your pen lines flowing in the direction of the bird that nice big sweep of the tail and then at the end you'll notice that I put lots of extra lines on the paper as well just in the direction that the birds are going just all helps to create that sense of movement and energy to the picture really and you're getting that energy because you're working quickly um, so if you work very tightly and you're a very precise worker just now and again get a big piece of rough paper and fill it up with things like this and don't worry about it not working don't get frustrated and throw it in the bin or anything like that. Just keep going. Like I said earlier, ignore the lines that are wrong and carry on with the lines that are right. Because at the end of it, you'll find that some things you like, some things you don't like, and you can develop those things that you do like and you can use them for reference later. So always date your sketchbooks as well. That's a good idea. Then you can come back and look at them later and see what you're up to. Okay, so I hope you found that useful. Um, for those of you that work in ink, I can highly recommend working in a dip pen. I've had this dip pen for years and I find you get much more expressive line, you get a better variety in your line. So thank you for watching, I hope you found it useful and I'll be back again soon with more tutorials and demonstrations. Don't forget they're every Monday and Thursday from at 2 o'clock in the afternoon. Those of you that are new to my channel, thank you very much for joining us for the first time and don't forget you can subscribe below and there's a bell there if you want to get notifications of when my new videos are out. So I'll be here again on Thursday. In the meantime, enjoy your painting and drawing and hope you can get outside and maybe have a go at doing some birds. Bye for now.